guys think I got enough packages while I've been gone this summer? And the most terrible thing is, there's actually more. There was like a really big box in the garage that I just wasn't gonna bring in. Some stuff not so thin. Here we go. crawling out. Oh, it's fast. Ah! Ah! I almost got it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I got it. Oh, you got my it. heart is racing. Honey, I'm so proud of you. Thank I didn't you. know you had that in you. That, that spunk. <laughs> that. Oh. I can't even see you. You're hiding behind the boxes. Yes, it probably sounds like what are you doing with this? A little adrenaline rush. Just in case I need it. <laughs> uh, just like your mother. Just in case I need my broken cracked iPhone anymore. <laughs> just in case. You know what? <laughs> Last thing we have to open together, you guys, are these Birkenstocks. Max is playing video games, sorry. Just like the good old days, we're back, baby. I bought the tote Birkenstocks, don't kill me, for resale for like double their retail price because they're literally sold out everywhere, you guys. And so I'm really hoping, cross your fingers, we're doing this together, that these are the right size and they fit and everything. I'm a little worried because I only could find my size of the 39 and the narrow fit on Poshmark and I have wide feet. But I feel like Birkenstocks run so wide, so I'm hoping this is gonna be okay. I'm gonna show it a little more. She's probably like, thank you for paying double. <sighs> I'm so bad with this. Like if I get my mindset on something and it's out of stock, like I will find it resale and I may just pay even more to get my hands on it. <gasps> they are perfection. They literally are perfect. Gosh, I can't believe these just had such a comeback this fall and I probably could have got them for like half the retail price like a year ago. Here they are. Okay, moment of truth. Oh yeah, we're in business, baby. <laughs> they fit perfect. Oh my gosh, and the narrow is not too narrow at all. I'm so happy. Eh? I am so glad they fit so well. Expect an Instagram picture in these coming very soon if I don't already have one and then by the time this video goes up, they're just gonna be so good. Literally just how I have them with like a leggings, and with a leggings, black aligned leggings, a cozy sweatshirt. Oh, I'm so obsessed with them. Wow, I feel like such a basic bee that I like hopped on this trend, but they are so cozy and I'm honestly really happy I got them. <laughs> Worth paying double, eh, maybe not, but but I really like them. <laughs> Hi, 
I guess officially welcome to this vlog. It's way later now. I am feeling like a chicken with my head cut off. I'm honestly feeling extremely overwhelmed since I am unpacking all the stuff I packed to come back to Pennsylvania while simultaneously packing because I go to Laguna later this week and I'm just, yeah, doing work stuff all at the same time when this place is a mess and my stuff is everywhere. It's just really stressing me out, but it's all gonna be okay. It's gonna happen. I just always like wildly underestimate how long it's gonna take me. I'm like, oh yeah, I'll unpack. It'll take me an hour. No, like I literally my whole life to unpack. You know what I mean? Anyway, this is my little fit. It's a little confusing. I don't know how I feel about it. I think the headband <laughs> makes it like too much, but I'm loving the headbands, but the burks, maybe I'm just not used to. Like what? I like them better with like, I had like leggings and a sweatshirt on earlier, like a little more casual, I guess this is casual too, but anyway, I'll probably pick this up tomorrow morning when I'm feeling a little better. I need to just like take a break for a second. Max and I are gonna go get dinner. I'm gonna try to do some deep breaths. <laughs> Good morning. Just finished a workout. Don't mind, there's just a mess going on back here. My Instagram story sees like this and cuts out all the mess. <laughs> but yes, it feels so good to be at my at home full cycle bike. I miss it so much this summer. Wow. I was away. I know I told you guys I was feeling like so overwhelmed yesterday and I literally had like the worst night ever. I I don't know. I honestly feel like I kind of had like an anxiety attack. I don't even really want to talk about it because I feel like I'll cry again. And it was just really scary and I hate it when it's like I don't really know the exact reason of why I'm so anxious and I feel like this time I, I do because I just feel like really overwhelmed trying to unpack my entire life. Like you guys saw me packing up my whole, packing up my Boston apartment to move out. So like all of that I need to unpack pack and organize and like settle back in here but I also leave for Laguna too so I'm trying to like pack at the same time and I'm behind on work stuff so I'm doing like 8,000 things at once and my brain like can't catch up but I miss Max because I've been away from him for a while so like I just want to hang out with him and I was just like a mess last night and yeah I just like really couldn't film and like felt like I couldn't breathe or eat or like I don't know it's just really scary if you guys ever feel anxious so that's that on that I just wanted to include that because obviously I film when I'm doing good and everyone knows social media is a highlight reel and it's just it's okay if you're not doing okay today tomorrow is a new day like today I'm like Gretchen you're not having a bad day again you're gonna get up and get on your soul cycle bike and just be productive and do what you can and it's okay and Max is like you really need to learn how to like take breaks and relax because I like don't and then I wonder why I'm so like stressed out and crumbling but anywho we're doing good this morning I did my favorite soul instructors Maddie her class and she's who I would ride with in Boston all the time and so it's so fun like taking her on that home bike but yes I'm gonna shower I'm gonna get after I'm gonna keep unpacking I'm gonna record an episode of my podcast I have an appointment at like noon yeah that's what's going on okay i'm done with my appointment i went to milan not nails or subway <laughs> i got laser hair removal yay so pretty much i've actually thought about this for Ever for so long because if you guys remember I actually got laser hair removal in the past so I did my underarms and uh, bikini and Brazilian whatever it's called I think Brazilian is what I get Brazilian I think <laughs> oh we're just really close now <laughs> now that you know where I get laser no but I got it like five years ago if you guys remember during college and it lasted for a while under I'm in Brazilian but I just feel like over time it started to grow back and bother me and so all last year I'm like I need to do laser hair I need to find somewhere to do laser I need to do laser and then it became the spring and then it's too late because you can't have sun exposure so I wanted to start last fall I never got it together to start in time and so I was like okay this fall this September Gretchen you got to get on it and so I literally just went on Google and looked up like laser places here in Allentown and I'm so happy I stumbled upon Milan this place that I just came to I had no idea what to expect since I literally just found them on Google and it's already like the best experience yeah, I'm just like so happy I found them because at the previous place I went I paid for six or seven or eight sessions however told however many they told me I would need to be like hair free and they say it's like forever but what I learned here is that it never actually is which I knew because mine obviously grew back but I think just over time in your life if you guys have gotten laser hair removal you'll notice you're not really hair free forever because of like hormonal changes and things like hair can just grow back and they're teaching me how like follicles that are dormant can then hair can grow and they aren't anymore you know what I mean so the reason I'm so happy I found at Milan is because like not sponsored by them or anything I just found them on Google they actually are like 
are like unlimited sessions or like a lifetime sort of thing so i just paid for underarm brazilian actually my full legs as well i didn't do today since i just started with underarm brazilian again and full legs will like take a while so i'm gonna like add that in next time but i just like you could pay over time pay up front i just paid up front today so that i wouldn't have to worry about it and then you're good like for life so after my 10 sessions or however many it takes to be hair free if i need to come in six months later or two years later or whatever get a touch up like i'm just so happy that i'm good for life and they have them all over the u.s too so no matter wherever max and i have to move like i'm just so happy that i got this process going honestly expensive but worth every penny i can link them down below for you guys if you're interested but yeah that was my exciting appointment and i'm gonna go pick up lunch i'm doing so much better than yesterday like the sun is shining i got my laser going also underarm and bikini is just like so convenient and so quick like it probably took 15 minutes or less like it's just so quick because it's such small areas the legs are obviously like lots of skin <laughs> it'll take like an hour or something so it was too much of a baby to start today like let's start that next time but yeah so I'm just so happy. I'm doing good. Oh, and I did my podcast this morning. I've been getting after it. I think because my day started with Soul Cycle, it's just a good day. And I'm just doing literally a million times better. How good does this Poke Bowl look? I literally need to dig into it right now before I drive home because I'm so hungry. And it looks so good. I go to Poke Kai here in Allentown, in case you guys are wondering. They have the best Poke Bowl. Hi, boys. Hi. <laughs> You just have a nice walk with mom and dad. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay, I hope this vlog isn't feeling disjointed. I actually feel like I'm having the best day. And I feel like I keep saying that. It's just like, it's wildly improved since yesterday. And I have just been very productive today, getting a lot of work done, so I'm feeling good. But yeah, last I saw you with laser. And we just took Bodhi on a nice little walk. And Max and I are about to head to the grocery store. But first, I wanted to show you guys my most favorite shirt of all time. This may be actually taking the place of number one. If you guys remember, hang on. <laughs> so this is the Cuts Tomboy Tee in the cropped version. And the gray color has always historically been my most favorite. But I actually bought this one with my own money since I just love them so much. And I knew I needed the white in the crop version since it's just definitely my most warm tee. And now I feel like I'm grabbing for the white one so much you saw I put a little jacket over it and they literally are the most high quality, versatile, comfy, buttery, soft shirts of all time. I feel like I have every color now. I actually just ordered a couple more colors in this tomboy tee crop version, but if you guys know, they also have the Almost Friday tee, which is just like a looser fitting shirt. I have a bunch of colors in that. I have like a green and a black. Those are so good as well, but just the crop tomboy tee has my heart. Literally, the only shirt worth wearing is their whole thing, and it couldn't be more true. Oh, they're just so good. If you ever like, what is that basic tea that like you love so much? I get DMs like that or I'll post a story in this and girls will be like, okay, this might sound so dumb. Like I know it's so simple, but like where's your white shirt from? It's perfect. Cuts. It's always cuts. You guys know I found out about them since Max has a bunch of their stuff and they start off with just men's, but now they have women's as well. So I'll have cuts linked down below. Don't forget, Tomboy Jean the Crop version is my most favorite. The best shirts of all time. I actually think they're coming out with like sweatshirts and jackets and that kind of thing. And they're always doing like new seasonal colors. So literally could not recommend enough and now we are going to head to the grocery like i said and we are going to make homemade vodka sauce for the first time ever i've always had this idea for max and i have always wanted to do this since we love vodka sauce pasta and we've never tried to make it homemade so we're gonna go get the ingredients and it's happening back at one of our favorite spots <laughs> this is what we got so far some cold brew um milk for max heavy cream. Oh, I love this pumpkin yogurt. I'm so excited. Now we gotta grab tomato paste. Hmm. Ready to go. I just saw it. Did you guys see? Oh, there it is. Perfect. Max is right. I was like, let's just bring one bag. We only need one. Well, we probably could. <laughs> we have two full and bags. Been Max just likes his snack. Let's tell them what you got. What didn't I get? <laughs> oh, I didn't get Oreos. They didn't oh, any. tell them what kick you've been in. Pop tart. <laughs> the pop tart kick.
hope it's as good as it looks. This is chaos. As you can tell, there's a lot more unpacking and settling in. I thought I was almost done and I forgot I had that huge suitcase with my clothes. With stuff that like goes into the dresser. Oh boy. Okay, I've just been like running around continuing to organize and just settle my life in today and I'm realizing I don't even think, wait, let me check. Okay, yeah, I showed you the final product of the homemade vodka sauce situation pasta that we made last night but i didn't give you any commentary okay it was delicious please try that recipe i will link it down below literally we just clicked on the first one that we found on google and it was like 25 minutes it was so quick we actually didn't do the onions in there because i don't know i didn't feel like it. i feel like i've had vodka sauce in the past that has chunks of onions in it i don't like it but maybe like the flavor of the onion would have made it better because we were like okay this is delicious but we were like it could be better like we could do like seasonings better we could like zhuzh it up a little but like so good highly recommend just like the tomato paste cream butter parmesan salt pepper like the basics i feel like you can't go wrong garlic we did olive oil everything that's in that recipe so so good could not highly recommend could not <laughs> could not recommend more my brain is mush and then i didn't even show you guys we just kind of had like a cozy romantic night in max actually made like a little i wish i just filmed like a second of it so you could see but i was just like trying to be really present because i struggle with like turning my brain off at night and not posting any more instagram stories and filming and whatever like i'm just always in that mindset and so i really struggle to just like relax you know he made a little fort in front of the tv and we started a new season of survivor and it was just like really fun and i was eating my true fruit and life was good and so we just had such a good night but yeah i know that i didn't even show that oh also yeah this vlog is sponsored by cuts this is cuts too this is the almost friday tee because i know i was wearing my white cropped little tomboy tee that i've been wearing like every day yesterday don't mind like the piles of clothes and stuff everywhere but yes this is just the more like loose fitting one it's one of those days with the navy blue and the black just <laughs> let me be okay <laughs> i've been in my organizing settling in phase and i feel like the reason this is so stressful and taking me so long is because i'm trying to simultaneously like clean out while i'm putting things away because i'm like why would i put things away if i should be like cleaning out i've been seeing all these tiktoks that are basically like if you never wear it get rid of it and if you don't know how to wear it i think that was like mind-blowing to me because i'm like i really like these pieces but i don't wear them because i don't know how to wear them and so if you can't figure out how then like it's just taking up space you know so i've been trying to like simultaneously do that and i'm about to leave for laguna so i need to pack for that as well and start off a laguna vlog and show my packing and everything like that so i think i'm gonna end off this vlog here i'm back baby i'm so excited to be back it's been so good thank you guys so much for watching this vlog and i'll see you in my next video bye yes look at this cutie oh my God. Okay, you have to tell, or I literally, what? we just came outside and I was like, you look so handsome. And he was like, I just put on a shirt and joggers, <laughs> but it's cause it's this oh, shirt. It's this one. I really like it. This Thank is you. the cuts, I think it's elongated curve oh, okay. hem. Okay, give us one more spin. One more twirl. Wow, mm -hmm. look at you. <laughs>